Ah, it's not good. I'll change the light. Hi, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while. I've had a few things going on in life which so kind of got in the way of getting in the garage as much as I like. Um, particularly on the AR50, which as you can probably tell from this, this is uh, not what today's video is about. It's actually about this bike. It's a mate of mine called Andy. Uh, he runs a, a small business as well doing suspension for classic racing bikes and racing bikes called Classic Racing Green. I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, he's asked me uh, to put this on. <laughs> this bike is Harris Deckerite. Uh, I believe eight to 12 were commissioned. 86, I think, if uh, I can remember the facts. Uh, they were built by Harris, um, and apparently it's their first aluminium um, frame that they actually ever produced. Uh, as I say, there's not many of these about, and it also runs a Rotax 256 uh, engine. And it's quite a nice, quite a nice special bike, actually. Not many around. The problem is, my mate Andy, he's quite tall, and he didn't fit, so he's had to have a subframe made. And this seat's been moved back as you can see and longer foot pegs have been on and I'll bring you in in a second and you'll be able to see that actually this needs lengthening and the exhaust pipe which were made originally by Phil Featherstone uh, we believe uh, yeah I need to flip it around so today I'm going to be modifying the exhaust to get the silencer to fit and actually clear the swing on so a couple of shout outs as well um, I got talking to pre a couple of months ago now, Mick, I do apologise, I should have been getting on with stuff, but yeah, Mick Abbey, from Mick Abbey Tuning, uh, we've been having a few chats on the phone, talking about pipe design particularly, so um, once I actually get the AR pipe done, he's going to come up with a couple of designs as well to to, uh, to try out, uh, and I'll probably get to take a trip up to see him at some point as well, and take the AR, see how that goes on his dyno as well, so it'll be quite interesting. So the problem, these are really rear set, rear sets, a lot more rear set than the original rear sets, which also bolted onto here. So Andy's had to make this adapter plate and run these longer um, rear sets to get his feet in the right position, which meant the seat was in the wrong position. So a separate sub new subframe has been fabricated and you can see where this gap is here. That's how far back it's gone. So that would normally be flush with that. So to compound it, the pipe here doesn't fit. So the problem we got, this would have come out somewhere about here behind the foot peg. Can't do it now. So it needs to come out about there. But it's still got to miss all this. So we think we need the comb to come out further down here. And then I'll just put an extension on here so it clears it nice. Okay, first job, fasteners off. So, quite a difficult seat, but I reckon I need 
a line there. I need this down to about here <laughs> to get it to fit. So it's a bit difficult without any references. So I think I'm just going to go go for it. I'm going to take the pipe off and then I'm going to cut down this line because it does look like it's going to there or thereabouts be right. And we'll see if we can fluke it. I can always bend the tube a little bit to get it to meet up. Not the easiest of things to do, but it's not building a pipe from scratch, I suppose. Every cloud. Recommend one of these for taking springs off. Just make life a lot easier. I found that one on too tight. There we go. I'm going to take my time on this. Okay, so far, I've managed to keep it fairly straight. Bit of a jiggle around so this roughly ah oh, you bastard. Okay, uh, bit of a mock-up hour on it, so silence it to sit like that. As you can see, this comes to about here, and I've got this pointing out. I don't think it's gonna be an issue with side clearance, but that's one one way we'll find out. And I've twizzled this round, you can see here, it doesn't quite match up, but I think if I lock this off here, make a new bit that fits onto here. And then I've got a way of mounting it, and that should, I think, root it okay. Yeah, so put the fairing on, and there is just a bit of clearance. So, it's what I've been doing, is tweaking these, tweaking that, so I can get it to, where's my mark, that line's there, then I'm going to get it flat, because it's, it's not flat enough, it's not good enough. Then I'm going to go around and remove all this carbon, and then hopefully, I can get it tacked up. So, one of the problems is, this is, wasn't quite matching up with that. It was a little bit too baggy, effectively, a bit too much. And as I flatten it, I'm going to make this larger and the cone larger as well. So it's what I've done on a couple of bits where it's not sat. I'm just having it like this and I'm just tucking the material in a little bit. Just tucking it here and then flattening it out. Just reduce that diameter a little bit so I can get a good fit up. Otherwise, it's just going to be blown holes. <laughs> hey, welcome to my Ultra Gash setup. So I don't know what it shows up on here, but I'm looking for the grain. So the markings are just going round, so it's uniform. So there's a little bit there to come off. So yeah, final fit. It should weld up okay, that. So mocked up. I just need to get a bit of pipe to go from there to there now. It's my little pipe bender. Uh, it's cheap. It's not brilliant. But it's okay. So it's what I did. I measured the bend I needed. You can see marked on this flexible rule, ruler even. And then I just made sure I got the same angle when I bent it, or there or thereabouts. Bugger. <laughs> I didn't notice this before, there's a bit of a dint in there. This has been brazed on. If I'd been clever, <laughs> which I'm not, I would have chopped this off about here 
and made the new bit to go to there. Unfortunately I've chopped it off already so I'm trying to salvage this bit. So I've just rounded the end, end of here a little bit on the lathe and I intend to pop that in there to try and take that little dint out. I don't know how easy it's to see but I'm just going to heat it up a bit as well with the old blowtorch. See if I can get it out. So, this is the misery. Do things on your own. I think that is going to about clear. So, I'm going to tape some stuff up that's a bit securer and then we'll start looking at welding. So, I've used some masking tape to get this here. It is going to sit up a little bit more. And then. This will go on here, but it will pull up a little bit more and then should miss everything. Ah, it's not good. I've not got a lot of argon left. I'm not happy with that. So I've got a bit more tubing. And I'm going to cut a bit of this. You can see the bit of weld penetration. It's not too bad actually. Right. I've got a few tacks on. It's actually tacked not too bad. I've got really good fitment, so this should weld quite easily. get a bracket on here now to support difficult to see but if I put this in here I'll just be able to hopefully get a couple of tacks on there and then it should be good as you can see. Eat. Not very good welding. That was really tricky. Upside down and go on focus. You anyway, it does sit right. I think that's good. Trim that, see if it fits.
you all for joining me today. Uh, hope you appreciate this, uh, Harris. This took a bit longer than I thought, as pipes always do. Plus, I've spent a lot of time actually looking at the bike. Um, it is really, yeah, it's a piece of art. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So it's been good just to work on something like this. Uh, coming up, AR, back on the AR pipe. I've got a few issues with the ignition. I've had a bit of a misfire, so I've been doing some reading on Kiwi Bike and Wayne Wobbly Wright. Uh, he's put quite a bit of information up how he's had problems with misfires, and it comes down to the routing of the wires from the pickup coils. So I'm going to look at changing that as well. Also, a uh, thousand subs now, so thank you everyone who's subscribed. Uh, it does mean a lot. It's been been tech, took a bit of time, took a year, but it's gradually built up. I know I've not done a lot recently, but it's good to get back in the garage and good to get going again. I have had quite a lot of stuff going on in life, but you know, that's it. I think we're over that now and moving forward. So again, if you're interested in the AR and you want to see more stuff, probably the odd project like this as well, please consider subscribing, hit the bell icon, 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 icon. And uh, yeah, thanks. And uh, Hopefully catch you reasonably soon.